and we just wanted to have a very nice home and still think about the planet. When Frank Palmieri and Elizabeth Gear decided to build their dream home, they knew it was going to be energy efficient. The concrete and foam construction method they used initially alarmed the neighbors, but once the home was completed, it fit right into the upscale Tulsa neighborhood. And after living in the home for a year, they say they have realized huge energy savings. Mostly due to the probably our 50 walls we have, which two and a half inches of foam on the inside and two and a half on the outside, six inches of reinforced concrete in the middle. So you essentially have a 12 inch thick wall. The inner layer of concrete also makes the home incredibly sturdy. 325 mile an hour winds it will withstand, so the whole house is essentially a storm shelter. The high efficiency windows and foam insulation in the garage lessen the energy demands even further, as does a mana block water distribution system which sends hot water only to where it's needed. So you save a lot of water circulating through the house and wasted cold water till you get to the hot water. Tubes sunk deep into the earth are used by a geothermal heat pump to cool the home. Geothermal heats all the hot water as well, the domestic hot water. Dual flush toilets, 10 foot ceilings and efficient appliances helped Frank and Elizabeth realize a huge savings compared to their old wood frame home. We're using 40 percent less energy for a house that's 70 percent larger. It's a dramatic savings and the cooling season should be even more dramatic. As we've seen, we haven't even turned the air conditioning on and we're already almost in the middle of June. Oh, I enjoy this house so much. It, uh, it's very, very comfortable as far as the temperature. We wanted to teach our children, our grandchildren, and our friends that this is something that we can accomplish and still have a very nice home. I believe you would do better off do, doing a, an energy efficient home. It didn't cost much more to build than a stick constructed house. It just takes a little more planning. Chris Howell, NewsOn6.com.